Moving on. And in office news... Hang on. Wait. Why am I on this side of the desk? You, my friend, have just been hot-desked. What desked? Hot-desked. Welcome to my new segment, Charlie, where I explain new things for old people. Kitty Flanagan, senior correspondent. <laughs> what the devil is hot-desking? Ah, oh, that's better. So, what is hot-desking? It's when somebody sits on your desk and blows off. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. And stop moving. I'm making a point about hot desking. Hot desking essentially means no one has their own permanent desk anymore. Right. Hang on. <laughs> annoying, isn't it? Yes, it's very annoying. Point well made, wherever the f you are. See, this is just one of the many problems of hot desking. You can never find the person you're looking for. I'm over here, Chuck. Okay, you've established that this is really annoying, but you still haven't told me why it's called hot desking. Because if you called it the more accurate shit desking, no one would do it. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know him. So what's the point? It's right here, mate. Oh. It's a cost saving device. Employers get rid of a bunch of desks in order to save on office space. The research says you never have all your staff in the office at one time, therefore, you don't need a desk for everyone. There'll always be some people on leave. There are part timers. You've got Margaret from HR. Wait, what, what, what's wrong with Margaret from HR? Don't ask Chuck, I think it's cramps. <laughs> so, so, what if everyone actually turns up one day? <laughs> Come on, this is Australia, Charlie. That's never going to happen. <laughs> well, I'm guessing it must be efficient. Guess again. I'm guessing it's not very efficient. Nice. <laughs> I did some research. I know. What about me? I read a bunch of studies. Turns out hot desking makes staff feel less valued. It mm -hmm. actually prevents team communication because you can't always sit next to the people in your team. It's noisy. It's distracting. And above all, it's annoying because you have to drag all your belongings around with you all day. Honestly, it's like being a homeless person, only less outdoorsy. <laughs> yeah, not, not really. Yeah, it was like being a homeless person but with a laptop and a salary and a home. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not like being a homeless person. Oh, jeez, who made you the boss of analogies? I wish there was another desk I could move to now. Is that one up there still free? Oh, someone's taken it. Oh, it's Margaret! Hi, Margaret, how's the tum-tum? <laughs> if you want to see how unproductive hot desking is, take a look at this award-winning short film I made called A Day in the Life of a Hot Desker. <laughs> <laughs> Now, here I am. I arrive at work at 9 o'clock. Got to get all my stuff for the desk. I've got a phone, computer, bit of fun there. Need a plant to cheer things up. Just got to organise your own lunch now because there's no canteen. <laughs> Cost saving. Now I've got to find a desk. Walking around, everyone's already taken them. Say good day to some people. Yeah, just ignore me as usual. Don't want to sit with them anyway. Then I finally find a desk, got to set it up. Get everything sorted and then... <laughs> By about now, it's about time for a cup of tea. But where is the tea on this level? Because I don't usually sit here, so I don't even know. Come back, time for a little bit of work. Then it's lunch. Got to share it round, because you don't want to eat too much ham or it goes <laughs> right through you, I can tell you. Then <laughs> uh, I don't even know where my desk is again. Finally, time for a bit more work, a bit more ham, and uh, trying to find Liz. Can't find her. Where she's sitting? Who knows? Give up. It's time to pack up. I've got to be out of here by five, so... <laughs> Time to get that stuff back in the locker, say goodbye to some more people who don't like me, and uh, there we go. Now, that's an eight-hour day, and I calculated that I only worked two hours 40. Wow. <laughs> so that is, about, that is about an hour 40 more than usual. You're right. <laughs> Look, if you need proof that hot desking is miserable and inefficient, here it is. Shiat Day, the agency that invented it in 1993, actually abandoned it less than a decade later because the staff hated it so much. Now, years later, after it's already been declared a dismal failure, the ABC decides to get on board the open plan hot desking train to Shitsville. <laughs> Might be your ABC, but it's not your desk, apparently. It's, it's funny, cos I didn't realise the ABC had a hot desking policy. Yeah, well, you wouldn't, cos you're one of the ABC elite. You not only have a desk, you have a door. Mm. The rest of us have to sit out in the open plan bit. People don't just need desks, Charlie, they need doors. If you need to concentrate, then you need to be able to close your door take a nap and then really knuckle down. Right, uh, I don't take naps. Yeah, well, no wonder you're such a cranky asshole. You know who else <laughs> is cranky? The whole ABC newsroom. They have to hot desk as well. I spoke to one of the journos about it. They were happy to talk, but they wanted to remain anonymous. You're a respected news journalist here at the ABC. How do you find hot desking? It's absolutely f***ed. Virginia Trioli, thanks for your time. Roland! Where have you put my desk, you shit? <laughs> Would you please say Kitty Flanagan?